when Jesus is around and he's doing miracles, signs and wonders for the people. Listen, there was a man with leprosy. He knew that Jesus had the recipe for healing and wholeness. So we approached him and said, if you want to, it can be. He put his face in the sand. Jesus knelt down and he touched him by the hand and he saw that his faith was real. So he said, I want to be healed. Sickness disappeared. There was a Roman officer. He said, Jesus, I hate to bother you. I have a slave at home. He lays and I'm feeling any day. He'll be laying in a coffin, sir. And Jesus said, let's go. I will make him better, but the soldier said, no. My house is not fit for you to go. But if you give the word, then I know it will be so. And Jesus was impressed. He said, I have not seen faith like this in all of Israel. And you know Israel. You can go home because you know that he's here. And the word started to spread. People talking about what he did, what he said. Can he really heal? Can he raise from the dead? The feet of the deed just by touching on your head. Two men in a cemetery. No one would come home because the men were scary. Possessed by demons. Jesus went to see him, but they saw him and started screaming. Son of God, why are you sweating us? It is not time. Why do you threaten us? We know what it is. You got us in us out to send us to those pigs. And Jesus said, get. They went inside the pigs and he hopped over a cliff. And everybody said, man, Jesus called demons to devil hand. Jesus was preaching, the walk, and they walked behind him, and they screamed, have mercy on we, and Jesus said, do you believe that I can make you see, and they said, we do, because of your faith, now this will be true, he reached out and touched their eyes, right at the same time, they were no longer blind, and the word started to spread, people talking about what he did, what he said, can he really heal, can he raise from the dead, the feet of disease just by touching on your head, Jesus was preaching. The house was so packed, nobody could reach him. Four dudes had a friend that couldn't move. What they decided to do was put a hole in the roof. And they slowly lowered it. Real slow, real low, so the Lord could see. But that's just the beginning. Jesus said, son, your sins are forgiven. The Pharisees said, who are you kidding? You are not God, homie. How can you forgive them? And Jesus said, what? Would you rather I say get up off your mat and pick it up? I will prove that I'm the son of man. Can't forgive sins just by speaking the command. He said to the man, you are healed. Suddenly he could feel from his head to his heel. He stood up and pushed through the crowd. He walked to his house. Everybody said, we have not seen this before. He came through the roof. He left through the door. And the word started to spread. People talking about what he did, what he said. Can he really heal? Can he raise from the dead? The feet of disease just by touching on your head. There was a woman who was bleeding, healing, she was definitely needed. For 12 years she had this issue, but all she thought was if I could just get through and touch the hem of this robe, I will be healed, I will be whole. She bent over and she reached and she barely got just the peace healed instantly. And Jesus said, who did it? The disciples said, Lord, are you kidding? They said, this because everybody was touching me, but Jesus knew that's only one person trusting me. He said, your faith is so real. Daughter, go in peace because you have been healed. She just laid on her face. 12 long years of pain and shame had been erased. And the word started to spread. People talking about what he did, what he said. Can you really heal? Can you raise from the dead? The feet of disease just by touching on your head. Uh. And the word started to spread. People talking about what he did, what he said. Can you really heal? Can you raise from the dead? The feet of disease just by touching on your head. Uh. And the word started to spread. Hallelujah.